The big game is fast approaching, but wait, you still haven't got your tickets. You've spent hours searching, but you're still confused about ticket prices. Time to stop searching. Visit TicketCompare.com. We compare ticket prices for all the popular leagues and tournaments for you. We work only with the most trustworthy sites, so you can have peace of mind when buying your tickets. Compare prices, buy tickets, get to the game. TicketCompare.com. Buying tickets made simple. Hi everybody, welcome to the press conference to preview the game tomorrow. If you'd like to put your hand up and we'll come to you to ask a question, we have Chris Smalling available. Hiya Chris, we've asked both managers about it. You've had a look at the pitch, uh, I mean it doesn't look great. Their manager said it probably looks worse than it is. What were your thoughts on it? Yeah, I think, obviously we've not trained here so we won't really get a proper feel until the game starts tomorrow. But. I think we saw the pitch, you can see it's been relayed and, and it looks it looks very good and hopefully it holds up throughout the for the whole game and, and everyone gets an entertaining game. Okay. Hi Chris. The manager's just said that he hopes you don't play for England whenever his players play for England this year gets injured. We've not heard from you since you were left out of the England squad and Gareth said what he said. Given that you've been part of such a really effective defensive season, I'm going to repeat to that. What are your thoughts on, on what Gareth Southgate said? Um, look, was I surprised? Yes, I was. But I think, I don't think you don't play for one of the biggest clubs in the world for as long as I have, and probably won most trophies, bar probably the Champions League, without being able to do everything that a top defender that can do, be it playing or defending. And I think the fact that this year, I think as a team, we've got one of the best defensive records, and and we have done for the last few years and I'm very proud of to be a part of that and um, and whilst I'm playing under Jose and he's happy and I'm playing regularly then then I'm happy with that. Chris, you've played a lot of pitch and you've got How have you found it playing with you sense of art and is there a good understanding between the two Yeah I think I think the fact that he's had the a whole pre season and um, so we had many weeks training before playing any games and I think each week you're, you're getting used to each other and the fact that we've got so many different options in at centre-back and, and in training we're often swapping so I think we're, we're all able to build up partnerships and it's very comfortable to play alongside Victor. Can you? Chris, do you um, see yourself having an England future over here? Oh, do you sorry. see yourself as having an England future or is that soured it a bit for you what he said? No, I think, I mean I play for one of the biggest clubs and under one of the most successful managers in, in Jose and, and whilst that's the case I think um, ultimately it's your club form that decides whether you play at a World Cup because there isn't that many England games throughout the season and whilst I'm playing regularly here and being a part of a very successful team I think um, that should show um, come the summer what, what is to be. Chris, you said you were surprised, that was the, the word you used when you heard what Gareth said, but was it not a little bit Sorry, staggering? Sorry, Jamie, can we move on to the Champions League now, please? I think we've answered that one. So, we've answered the, back on the Champions League, please. Okay. Okay, no one's oh, Yeah, that's... I think I can use every game that I play for United because I think there's, whether it's a... Uh, uh, sort of whatever cup it is with United there's always limelight on it and I think there's always um, going to be that pressure no matter what the game so whether it's Premiership Champions League I think um, I can showcase all my all my abilities Chris do, do setbacks like this one give you make you even more determined and to prove a point to actually prove your worth at this level for Manchester United and, and send a message to, to Gareth um, I don't feel like I really need to prove anything to Gareth because like I said I play for under one of the most biggest successful managers in Jose and and he's only going to pick the best players for and whilst I'm playing regularly and he he's happy I think ultimately if, if my season carries on like this and we have a successful season and, and our team still constitutes very few goals then I think um, it gives it gives him maybe no choice in the summer but to, to pick me. So, so just talking about how you've been playing for United this season how would you assess your, your form? You no, know, I think um, I'm getting a good run of games over these last few months and, and I'm feeling good and, and that's the fact that you want. You want to be able to play regular games and, and be a part of a successful team and so far we are being successful. It's just making sure we keep this going and, 
and improve on last year when obviously we got two trophies and we want to at least beat that. Chris, what did um, what did Jose say to you after you, you dropped from the England squad? Now, I think he gave you the week off, didn't he? What was that like for you to kind of you know recharge your batteries and, and sort of relax? I guess. Yeah, I think it's the first time that, that I've had a break, but I used it to my benefit because that was that was what was put in front of me and um, that enabled me to to have a little break and then have a four weeks training um, leading up to to the Newcastle game and. Um, I got my goal, so it paid off. What's he like, Chris? As a defender, what's he like to work with? He's widely regarded as one of the best in the business from defensive. Yeah, I do. I think us as a team and, and me individually, I think we work a lot on like our tactical, be it on the pitch, but obviously quite often we're just recovering in between games, but a lot of it is done in, in the meeting rooms and he's very in-depth in terms of how he analyses the other teams and how he wants us to play and I think it opens up your whole understanding of how you see the game and and I think the more that we're working with him, the more I'm feeling comfortable with him and and, and doing his instructions. Chris, we know about how impressive your defence is under Jose. How about the attack? You from Europe now is a you think of City, Barcelona, PSG, mm -hmm. great attacking sides. With Slatan back, with Lukaku, Rashford, Marshall, yeah. How does how does the United attack line up uh, compare with those? I think it, it would strike fear into to myself if I was playing against them and I think it strikes fear into most teams and, and obviously the fact that we've got Paul back as well, he's a very attacking midfielder along with Ibra, like you say, with, with all those other names, I think it just gives us so many options that no matter what game it is, what competition it is, we've got a, a front three or four who is going to cause a team so many troubles if, if we keep it tight at the back, more often than not we're going to, we're going to win the game. OK, last one for Rob. Um, you were in the team the the last time United were here when, when you went, got beaten and, and went out what, what are your memories from that night and, and how tough a, an experience was that to go through yeah I think um, it was a was a tough time you forget how long ago it is and how long I've, how long I've been here but it was, a, it was a tough game I think here with their, with their stadium the fans are very much on top of you they're very close but I think we got used to them when we played them at our place obviously not too long ago but their mentality now has to change a little bit because they have to come out and attack more so I think we've got more of a chance to, to score more goals than we did at home. So I think we're, we're very excited for the game. Cheers. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you.